Hello there, I'm Black Bright, as you know by now, and I'm broadcasting out the UK. And I talk about a variety of subjects. If it's the first time you're visiting my channel, please subscribe, like and share. Today I'm not in a very, very good mood. Um, somebody sent me a video, and when I watched it, it made me feel so uncomfortable. I'm trying to think, I said, you know, are we living in 2019? What era are we living in? When two Jamaican men are going out fishing, minding their own business, just left Trelawney, got all their stuff for their fish, they've got license to fish, they have some trouble with the waters, they steer a little bit off course, and they get taken in by the US Coast Guard and treated like slaves. I'm going to show you the video. I've been a fisherman from when I was about eight years old. Almost all my life I've been a fisherman. I go fishing all over Jamaica. Where the fish is catching, that's where I'm going to be. There was five of us going to the Malaki, leaving from Chilani. The plan was to go fishing, but things didn't go as planned, you know? In the night, we leave out to go fishing. When you reach a certain distance, then the weather get bad. We develop difficulties, losing problems. So we just for of course. We see the space lip in the sunlight coming down on us. We see US flag. When they come beside us, they, they say, stop the boat. This is US Coast Guard. And then we stop to Coast Guard board in the boat. They ask what we're doing. We tell them we're fishing. We show them our license and everything and the paper for the boat and everything. And they say they're gonna they're gonna call Jamaica. What's going on? Well I quest asking like what's the process? And then they <laughs> put their guns up and say we to get on the small boat. They put us on the big ship, they tell us to take our clothes and strip naked, they give us a white suit, then they chain us to the back of the deck. They put a cuff on our feet. And then they got a lot of other people chain on the boat from different countries here. I mean, first of all, I don't know how far Trelawney is from the Ameri from American uh, from America. I don't know at what part you are trespassing on American waters. But surely if the weather is bad if these gentlemen have all the paperwork that prove that they're what they're doing is legitimate, if they've got fishing tackle and fishing equipment on board, surely that should suffice to say they are legitimate. Why would you take two people who are minding their own business and take them into a country where you're saying you don't want immigrants? I thought you didn't want immigrants coming in your country. Why the hell are you taking them to bloody Miami? And all over the place, Cuba. Anyway, let me watch because this is so infuriating. Congratulations, you see a big fight. They destroy everything in fishing gears. They shoot up the boat, they light it and sink it. Burn up take us to you see how evil you know that's evil why would you burn the boat and everything in it you know sometimes you know when we're thinking about when people get held or detained you automatically it's human nature to believe that so they've done something wrong. They've contributed to that behaviour. A lot of people will say, oh, if you've got nothing to worry about, you know, you can go on as normal. That's the premise that people work from. They believe 
that as long as you're not doing anything out of the ordinary or you're not doing anything illegal, you should be okay. That is not how it works, especially with black people. And as much as some people out there would like to believe we live in a fair world, we do not. Time and time again, we're being proved that there are people out there who are just so evil minded, vicious, unfair, biased, prejudicial, all of those stuff. They exist and they're out there with the power of the gun. Let me continue with this video. They said we're not being charged. We're only being detained. Every day we ask, can we get a phone call? They say no, it's against the policy. When we went in Puerto Rico, they find a top polling and they cover the back of the boat. So no one could see us. And we were well, that's another thing. You are allowed a phone call, one phone call. Would you believe they uh, they detain them? For over a month, they were not allowed to make a call to their family. So their family didn't know if they were alive or dead. Every day for like probably two, three days. All the time we change. Everybody go the and as they switch it over, they change us. And they just give us cold food every day. Slimy, it's not good. You in the elements, the sun, the rain, the dew, sun come burn ya, yeah? rain come wet ya. Yeah? That boat we was on it during the hurricane. Clothes wet, the pet stuff they give us get wet. It was hard man, it was hard, you know. Yeah, it was hard, you know, we know that. We're in the hand of US government and this this is the way they treat us, you know. You see, the thing is, so many people have faith in human nature. They really believe that people are just are going to treat them unfairly if they've done something wrong. They still not comp they still cannot comprehend that there are people out there who will kill you, torture you, torment you just for fun. They can't, there's people out there who cannot believe it. And they're saying they treated them like animals, as though they're surprised. Yet they see them out there shooting people down like dogs all the time in America. And yet they still have that little bit of faith in human nature. I guess you've got to have it. Otherwise, why is life worth living? Let me continue. There's not much left of this. We were treated like we are garbage. We're not qualified to come inside. So that's that's all we were on the person all the time. It was dramatizing, you know. Sometimes you could remember it. It comes back to your mind, you know, like the treatment, what you go through. Everything was right. You could come like I, I just lo lose my mind completely. Everything was just, it made me feel like sometime I will jump overboard too. Enough time I think about jumping overseas. And, and then have post-traumatic stress, you I know that. Back on my kids and I just try to stay strong to see them again, you know. We didn't get a phone call until... One month, four days until they take us to Miami, take us to the FDC. I called home and I tried to get to my, my baby mama. I didn't get to her. I tried to get to my brother and I didn't get to him. And I get to my cousin and she answered the phone and she said, Oh God, thank God you're alive. The first time I called, it wasn't Anne that I got to. It was her daughter. She burst out in tears immediately when she heard my voice. I was all over in tears. I could 
when I talk. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in Jamaica say I was a dead man because nobody know nothing. My kids, they've been dropping back from school and all of that because they're not here from me for the whole months. I think I never sleep one minute. I never sleep. I don't know how. I can't describe that feeling. It's a horrible feeling. So we have to move on a little bit more now because do this case so they can be exposed to the world let the world know what they're doing out there that's the question i want to ask the court what's the reason for that if there's a law for that i want to know if it's, it's against the law to hold a man one month before being charged him. i want some answers i want to know how how did this happen and why did this happen I want you know, teeth like it's funny. Me. But my point is, is that, you know, I don't know if the court is going to do anything. You'd have to have a pretty good memory. You'd have to know who those people were. Um, since they stripped you of everything, I mean, you're going to have to rely on your memory. Is your memory enough? Who's on your side? Let's hope that something happens, but I don't have no faith in the justice system. I really don't. But I thought I'd share that with you just so you can see what's happening out there. Innocent people. You don't have to be doing anything wrong. So when you see people out there and you have your little suspicions, oh yeah, I bet they did this, I bet they deserved it. So many people, especially when they're talking about the biometric um, facial recognition, oh, if you've got nothing, if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to worry about. We always have something to worry about because life is not fair and they can mismatch and they can do anything that they want because you're not in a just system. And that's why they want to get us out of the EU. They want to completely wipe us off our human rights. That won't apply to Jamaica, but it doesn't really matter. It just, it just looks as though you don't have a say. And that's the sad thing about it. And because it's happening in isolation, they're such cowards taking two people out of the middle of the sea. I bet the way they're getting people is just by sneaking around. Why don't they challenge people up front? One, one, when nobody's looking, shooting people, you know, pregnant women who have, you know, who have got babies in the car. You're OK about shooting them, you bloody cowards. And men who are isolated... And you've got your big old guns and you know they haven't got anything. Oh yeah, you're big and tough then. But when it comes to standing man to man like they used to do in the old days, you ain't got the guts. Ah. Oh. That's it for me, folks.